Hi there, Aquarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of October 2021. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out in the monthly format. Let's get started on your reading, Aquarius, with your overall energy. Um, you have temperance in the upright position. This is Sagittarius energy. This is not a bad energy to have as your overall, honestly. Be, excuse me, because I feel that like temperance, uh, along with being a very beautiful energy in terms of healing and stuff, it's also a card that represents cooperation. And we could always use some of that, whether it's in our home, whether it's in work, whatever the situation is. This is about fitting in, having things, you know, go smoothly, basically. That's why I like the temperance energy. Good news for those of you who are bakers, because it could be that your baking, baked goods come out really well. This is mixing and blending ingredients and having them turn out beautifully. Good news for those of you who are put in charge of having to put together a, um, either a business meeting or a, um, you know, a family get together or something. If you're put in charge of that, this is where we can mix and blend people and everything's going to work out just fine um, because there's a level of cooperation coming from others. Good news for those of you who are just starting a new job. It could indicate that you will be fitting in very well with the rest of the people. Now, in week one, we have the Nine of Wands in the upright, rooted down by Major Arcana, the Emperor in the upright. So the Nine of Wands... Um, this is the Wounded Warrior card. This is where we could be, you know, fighting many challenges, many battles on the same front over and over again. We're getting a little tired of it. That's why the guard is up. We're like, eh, I could fight another day if I have to. I really don't want to. And there's no indication that you do have to. It's just that it's there as defensive energy. And what are you defensive against? The Emperor in the upright position. The Emperor is Mars ruled energy connected to the signs of, of uh, Aries and Scorpio. And it could be that you're dealing with one of those signs, but you could just be dealing with a level of control. This could be about control in the home or control in the office where somebody's really exerting their control. Now, it could be getting on your nerves, uh, Aquarius, and maybe that's why you're just like, oh, I'm at my wit's end with this. Stop being so controlling. Sometimes, though, this combination can indicate that we are facing a challenge over and over and over again. And it could be that the emperor is a person in a position of power that can actually help us. Now, this could be somebody who could say if it's at work where you keep hitting your, your head against the wall against that same problem. It could be the emperor is somebody high up in the company or something like that that could actually help you solve this problem once and for all. For others of you, this could be you just trying to keep control over a situation that's really getting on your nerves <laughs> or a person that's really getting on your nerves. Now, in week two, we have the King of Swords in the upright rooted down by the Five of Pentacles reversed. So the King of Swords is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, it's air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, like yourself, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Now... The King of Swords, this is your energy, Aquarius, coming up in your own reading in the upright, indicating you're right on the right path with whatever it is you're trying to accomplish this month. You're going down the right path. The King of Swords could be someone external to you who's just sort of laying down the law. The King of Swords is interested in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Sometimes as a profession, he can represent uh, legal people, legal eagles. He could be... Um, he could be a military person, he could be uh, a judge, he could be a police officer or a lawyer or even a surgeon. So for some of you, this could be someone who's come back because the Five of Pentacles is here in reverse. This could have been somebody who deserted you before and is now returning. Or it could be that the uh, King of Swords is just interested in laying down the law. It could be, you know, news and information coming towards you. It could be even representing someone stepping up to speak on your behalf. This could be a, an arbitrator or a lawyer, right? We do see that the emperor could be involved. It could be something official is happening at the beginning of the month for some of you. could be involving the, the court system. Um, the Five of Pentacles is also here rooting it down 
which uh, is in reverse. So that's good news for those of you who are maybe concerned a little bit about your financial situation. It could be that there's a turnaround. Maybe this person brings in some good news or some information about your financial situation. But sometimes the five of pentacles in reverse can point to somebody who you've abandoned or who has abandoned you is now back on the scene, has now returned. And, uh, you know, therefore, maybe there's a clarifying conversation that either needs to go down or is going down uh, concerning this person. Maybe this person is just sort of laying things on the line. But remember, you have the temperance here as your overall energy. So whatever is going on with these different characters, you have the ability to smooth things over. Now, moving on towards the uh, the end of the month, now this is week three, we have the Page of Wands, love the Page of Wands, and in the upright, along with the Eight of Swords, reversed. So the Page of Wands in the upright, I like this energy. This is, again, more, you got a lot of people here that could indicate, you know, that could be good for the temperance energy, because if you're dealing with a lot of people, Aquarius, this month, it could be that... You know, you're really going to need that level of cooperation from maybe several different people. But the, the Page of Wands is, you know, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Could be somebody's messaging you. Maybe they have a crush on you. If you're single and looking, this could be somebody who is uh, messaging you. They could be quite passionate, quite excited. Uh, sometimes the Page of Wands just represents that exciting news, exciting messages. Could be parcels being delivered that you've been waiting for for a long time. It could be great news that you just want to shout from the rooftops. And it's with the Eight of Swords, interestingly enough, in reverse. So this good news that's coming to you, Aquarius, in week three, helps take you out of a, a situation where you felt trapped. So this could be in the home, this could be at work or what have you, but there's a release. This is being released from a restrictive situation. So, you know, you're finally get out of jail. Maybe this is get out of jail free card. You know, the, the, there's some good news that comes in towards you and helps you to feel free and out of the restraints of something. Maybe uh, too much confinement, maybe too much uh, authority, too much control, but something helps you here in week three to release that. You're finally able, you get good news and it's like, yeah, I'm finally, I'm out of here or I'm, I'm done with this situation. I don't have to deal with it anymore. And in week four, now things get interesting again. <laughs> we have Major Arcana, the lovers in the upright position, rooted down by the five of wands reversed. Now the lovers is Gemini energy. Um, the lovers is about needing to make a choice. Hate to leave you as a cliffhanger at the very end of the month here, Aquarius. But this is about making a choice, making a decision. It could be choosing between two romantic partners. It could be choosing to love or choose to not love. We always have free will. So we can choose to take that relationship to the next level. We can choose to back off. We can choose to move in together. We can choose to get married. Well, there's all kinds of choices when it comes to love and romance. But it doesn't always just talk about love and romance. The lovers can just be about choices and decisions that are of major consequence. It could be, do I, you know, I got offered a job from this company and also from this company. Do I want to go work there? Do I want to go work there? Um, two different people are, you know, like wanting to go into business with me. Two different business partners. What do I do here? You know, it's about major choices and major decisions. And it's with the five of wands in the reverse position, indicating that there, if there was a level of um, <clears throat> of competition in something, when, they, when the five of wands is in the upright position, you point to competition. This is the competition is over. So, you know, we've won the competition. We get to move forward with something. For others of you, this could be about the drama is finally coming to an end. Now, I don't know why that would be connected to the lovers, but because the, the five of wands in the upright position points to, that's that he said, she said kind of energy. I'm not fond of uh, drama. This is drama coming to an end, but I really don't see where that would fit in with a major choice. Unless maybe the choice is to do one thing or another to get rid of drama if you've got excessive drama going on. So maybe the choice is like, well, I'm going to choose the one that's less drama. Or it could just be, it does make more sense in terms of the other meaning for the card of, uh, you know, competition has been squashed. So 
you know, so now we're in the running of something. So, yeah, very interesting. Can't wait to hear what you have to say in the comment section below. But, yeah, let's move on to your um, astrology uh, horoscope cards. One for love and romance and the second for career and finance. So, let's see. Love and romance. What does Aquarius have? We have Sun in Aries. New beginnings. Aries. Well, we do see the Page of Wands here. Could be Aries energy. But yeah, it could be when the moon's in Aries, something extremely romantic happens, or it could be an Aries is the love interest, or it could be that uh, Aries introduces you to the love of your life. But remember, Aquarius, your overall energy is temperance. So whatever is going on here, it looks like, you know, it, it, I think it's you and your own energy being able to smooth everything over. Uh, Aquarians can be very... <laughs> charming and very um very much able to you know bridge gaps between people when they want to when they're in the mood <laughs> let's move on to your career in finance and we'll see what the astrology card is for that uh, career in finance we've got aries again new beginnings <laughs> this is the same card oh my goodness and you just saw me show <laughs> oh that's funny so Aries seems to be overall involved in things. So yeah, interesting, interesting. Definitely leave me a comment in the comment section. But that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, yeah, I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.